Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on OP Legends. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the best money making farm on the server that you could currently make. So let's get straight into it. We have made a bit of progress between this video and last video. We are level 10, which means we have gone some milestones and stuff like that. And we have expanded our nether work farm, which is the money making farm that you do want to go ahead and make when you have enough money to. And I'm also going to go over some tips with your tools and just making the farm in general. So let's go to my island and I want to showcase my current farm that we have it's not too big or anything crazy yet but it is honestly a big improvement from last videos because we only had like two rows going and now we have this whole thing and it's honestly crazy because let's just mine this for a bit i'm just gonna mine a few right here and let me pick them up uh it's only seven there should be some more over here okay we have like about a stack and a half so let's do slash sell a hand and when we made 110k which is kind of crazy because that is a lot of money just for that many other words and also a big tip for you guys if we do slash gear i do recommend recommend to go ahead and put replant on your hoe no matter what rarity it is but mine's stone so it can only hold up to one enchant but we do have replant on it so it automatically replants the crops every time they're harvested sometimes it like doesn't work kind of i don't really know why but i think i know a fix i think you just have to mine it in certain areas and stuff like that and then telepath is also good if you do have a hoe that allows you to get two enchants because that will automatically collect them and that's probably good for just selling it so you don't have to go ahead and pick it up from the floor and then fortune would be good because it just drops bonus loot which would just mean more money okay so i asked around in chat the reason that netherwork doesn't sometimes replant is because you actually need some in your inventory and that's why telepath is kind of good because the telepath will automatically pick them up and replant them so i do really recommend to have the replant and telepath combo if you guys are starting on another work farm but if we take a look in slash armor and let's go ahead and check out how many enchants the iron hoe can hold and it can hold two so if you get a high iron hoe you can actually go ahead and put replant and telepath on it so as long as you do have some nether warts in your inventory then the replant feature should work perfectly fine i think my next goal is maybe to get an iron hoe because that would be a big help to us we'll be able to actually get replant and telepath and we'll make farming so much better so let's do slash armor and look at the necessary things that we do need uh we're not level 10 so we're not gonna go for gold yet but let's see we need 12 enchanted oak wood uh we need where is it at one enchanted iron ingot and 10k money so those shouldn't be too hard to get if we do want to enchanted iron ingot there is some mining ass spawn we can do and we just condense 64 iron i'm pretty sure that's how we get the enchanted iron ingot i want to go ahead and craft a stone pickaxe because currently we only have a wood one which is probably kind of slow so let's see what we need 64 oak wood 24 cobblestone that is really easy to get so i'm gonna go ahead and get that real quick okay so we have the materials needed to go ahead and craft a stone pickaxe so let's go ahead and do that boom and now we should mine a little bit faster so let's go ahead and pretty sure this is the mine right here is minor and greedy let's go and right click him maybe he will give us a quest we can also do in the meantime so let's see rock and ore sweat and more just another day in the mine um i don't think there's any quest there let's just keep continuing there is the iron let's see how fast we can actually go ahead and mine it hopefully it's not too slow and um it's kind of slow so let's get let's see if we can get efficiency we also did get five mil because we did level up our mining skill so let's see efficiency only cost ak xp so let's go ahead and upgrade it um i don't want to use too much xp XP on it uh let's just go to level three for now because we don't want to use too much xp on it. and it is mining a lot faster so i'm gonna go ahead and get 64 ingots and hopefully we can get it pretty fast because it is going up by two every time we mine one so it shouldn't be too long before we get a stack one thing i do want is some more mob coins because with mob coins we can actually go ahead and get some island upgrades and that includes like crop growth speed uh we get like some ore upgrades for a cobblestone generator so much good stuff like that and we do have a stack right there so let's go to a condensed table boom and we might have to smelt it i'm currently smelting the iron because we need to convert it to ingots in order to condense it into the enchanted iron ingot so we're gonna do that real quick and in the meantime i don't really know what to do we have 66 k xp so let's see how much it will cost i don't i think replant was maybe around 20k the telepath is 8k so we do have enough for the two enchants once we do get the iron oh and then once we level that up or once we get to level 20 then we can go ahead and get a gold one let's see in the slash armor how much that will cost boom actually we can't even view it because we need level 20 for that and then we our main goal is to get to the honey tools um level 25 125 is kind of far but the nether wart farm is the fastest way to actually level up and it's the fastest way to actually get money and mob coins i'm pretty sure well the iron is smelting we have 26 regular pet boxes uh i'll probably open up those later but we do have a lot of crates we have 120 grind crates 37 loot crates and three relic crates and no crates so let's just start off uh 
I want to, I'm going to empty my inventory, then open up the crate. Okay, so I emptied out my inventory. Now let's go into the crates and open up all of the grind crates. Boom. Insta open all. Um, hopefully it doesn't overflow our inventory. It probably shouldn't because we're probably going to get a lot of mob coins and stuff. It is taking a long time and boom. Looks like we got 500 XP, 65. Okay, it was all right. Those were all right. Not the best. Um, looks like we got no like ed boxes or anything like that. I don't even know if you get them from those keys. But let's, open up, let's open up the loot crate keys now. Looks like we got three pet boxes two pig spawners one sheep spawner a points booster and another relic key so boom let's go and open up the relic keys uh four of them boom looks like we got a exp booster some mob coins and experience so nothing really too crazy i'll definitely take these spawners because we don't have too many let me just put them all right here probably gonna make a farm in a future video coming up once we do get the nether war farm and the hoe going we will be getting a lot of money and we're gonna be able to afford some of these spawners okay so these are the current pets i have we have a rare mob coins pet an epic plus xp pet two epic plus mob coins pets and then a rare xp pet and another xp plus epic plus xp pet and we i think we're gonna go ahead with the uh xp pet i don't really know which one is the best out of the mob coins and xp pets and the iron should be done smelting so let's go ahead and go to condense it and they condense into iron blocks and then into an enchanted iron ingot so now we have that but i think we are missing out on the oak logs uh we're gonna have to go and grind those real quick let me go ahead and get the axe and we're just gonna go to spawn and grind a ton of those woods i'm gonna go ahead and craft a stone axe just to speed up the process of getting wood a little bit faster because it is currently taking quite a bit so boom let's find out stone axe boom um we do have three enchanted oak wood already so yeah we're definitely gonna take that i'm pretty sure if we take a look we need 12 and yeah so we need 12 oak wood we have three so we're gonna continue to mine we just need like we just need eight more stacks or nine more stacks so yeah we're just gonna continue to grind we might put efficiency on the axe maybe i don't really know but i'm just gonna come back once i've gotten all the enchanted oak wood i've been getting a bit of wood we do have a lot right here but i did want to mention there is a quest to get a small pet bag and i kind of want it because it doesn't just allow you to maintain your pets a little bit better and organize them like better and send them a little bit quicker and stuff it is just makes it way more it's just a better quality of life kind of thing so it is i think the slayer quest i don't really know let me take a look we go into the quest and check out uh this one if you take a look at the quest right here it does give us a small pet backpack so we might do this later or i might just do it off camera i don't really know We'll find out, but I am just going to continue mining the oak wood for now. Okay, so we have all the materials that we do need for the iron hoe, finally. Uh, let's go ahead, boom, iron, boom. Now we finally have the iron hoe. Let's just go ahead and enchant it real quick. We also do have 12 ultra pet boxes and 24 regular ones. I'm going to go ahead and open up those and read them all off camera a little bit later. But I'll still show you guys if I get anything good. But let's do slash gear. Replant cost 25k. Boom. Telepath 8.1k. Boom. And now we have this hoe going. So let's go back to our island and let's go ahead and test out this thing i went ahead and opened up the pet boxes and the best pets we have right now is a rare plus mob coins pet a epic money pet this is our first money pet that we have seen and a rare plus xp pet and i'm pretty sure we can only equip the once or let me see so yeah we can only equip the one at a time uh let's go ahead and equip the money one for now actually we don't really need to equip it while we're grinding just when we're about to sell let's go ahead and equip the mob coin one because we do need mob coins for some island upgrades and it's just gonna help us a ton but now let's go ahead and test out this hoe on the farm and as you can see it is so much better there is no nether wart being broken and it's automatically going into our inventory Inventory so we don't have to manually pick it up i'm gonna empty my inventory get a full inventory of this nether war and i want to show you guys how much it sells for okay so we have a full inventory and we are level 13 already which is kind of crazy because we were just level 10 but now we have a full inventory let's do slash sell hand uh, and boom and 2.5 mil just from a full inventory in about like a minute or less that is kind of insane for story now and i do recommend to build a nether war farm get an iron hoe in these enchants for you guys if you are just starting out but that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out